Hello, I'm Roman and welcome to the show where we've got news on the league that we all love so, so, so much. It's not like the focus was fully on a match between Real Madrid and Barcelona. This is the magic spray. I'm going to be running through the best football chat from last week as well as bringing you a preview to the week ahead. If you want to see all the action from the weekend via Sun Plus, you can get a free month's trial by clicking the screen right now. You know the drill, it's the top five stories we're all talking about. Number one, Robin Van Persie scored a last minute equaliser in yesterday's showdown between Man United and Chelsea after a goal from OAP Didier Drogba gave the Blues a seemingly match winning lead. Branislav Ivanovic saw red leading to the World Cup final winning goal from Robin Van Persie. Well, it was a World Cup final winning goal according to his celebration. In fact, let's do some comparisons. Mario Goetz's World Cup winning celebration and Robin's celebration to draw a match and put Man United in 8th place. Even Van Hull has come out and called the reaction as stupid. Van Hull obviously knew that even though they scraped a point, his side is now one point worse off than where this man was at the very same stage. Number two. And the January transfer window might be months away, but the rumours are already starting. Kicking off with well-known big spenders, Arsenal apparently. They're keen to add to their roster with the addition of Barcelona winger Pedro. The Spanish international has allegedly handed in a transfer request and is pushing to join up with his pal Santi Cazorla in North London. I mean, it's exactly what Arsenal need, isn't it? Another small, Spanish, passing field, shot-fearing midfielder. Number three is Man City's loss to West Ham. Yeah, West Ham. Manuel Pellegrini's title-winning side slumped to a 2-1 defeat at Upton Park, pushing them down to third. On the plus side, he didn't have to have Russell Brand's lips plastered all over his face at full time. But yeah, Premier League new boy Diafra Sacco hit his sixth goal for the Hammers this season to gain their third consecutive win and leave them sitting pretty at fourth. West Ham, fourth. Now, look, Russell, I know you're happy, mate, but remember, there is a reason why they call him Big Sam. Number four, and sticking with that West Ham lot, something even funnier than watching a Premier League giant fall to, well, well yeah, West Ham, has to be Alex Song's shorts. What even are they? I thought this was weird until I actually looked up what Alex Song's dress sense is like. And just, just look. Number five, and I could have stayed on the story that Leicester had to have the goalposts checked over fears they were too small. Nigel Pearson coming out with the quote of the year claiming the goalies looked too big. They're meant to be. They are goalies. But I've decided to add in a few of my favourite vines from the weekend, including this superb bit of accuracy from Burnley's Tom Heaton. Oh, and Fernando Torres' spectacularly crap scissor kick. Overlapping run here from this union. In towards Fernando Torres. And even Amalfitano and Valencia celebrating a goal with the wrong fans. Can a simple binnenticken? Omdat iedereen hem mist. But let's finish on the best penalty you will ever see. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Winner of the week! This time it's that man, Sam Allardyce. His giant killing West Ham side moved into fourth place this week, and his new signings are looking like a stroke of genius. And he even got a kiss from Russell Brand. Loser, loser of the week. The winner of this prestigious award has never gone to the same person twice, but I'm afraid it had to be done. Vito Minone. You thought you had gotten away with it, but no. As if last week's 8-0 humiliation wasn't enough, his performance during Sunderland's 2-0 defeat to Arsenal ended in the worst possible fashion miscontrolling the ball, having the ball nicked off him in his own six yard box only to see Alexis Sanchez dink the ball past him. 
Vito. It's poor, mate. Right, let's get on to this weekend's games. The early one on Saturday is Newcastle versus Liverpool, where Mario Balotelli will be trying to overcome the title of the most overhyped striker in world football. 3 p.m. sees Arsenal face Burnley at the Emirates, Chelsea play host to slim fast advocates QPR, and Everton play Swansea at Goodison Park. Sunday afternoon is the big game of the weekend, the Manchester Derby. Man City will have the home advantage this time round as they look to bounce back from their loss to leaders Chelsea. Whilst Man United, well, they're trying to not be eighth. As promised, here are my score predictions for the weekend. Right. That's it, people. See you next week. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and feel free to vent your ever so spectacular football knowledge in the comment section below. I leave you with an exclusive picture found on Russell Brand's phone. <laughs>